whenever we have innovated in the past in the company uh, and when that innovation has succeeded, it has had a discontinuous impact on our growth. So having experienced that in business, we said that can we use innovation in other spaces, in social spaces, in other businesses which we are not running but others are running, in government spaces, can we play that role to fuel innovation? And we have tried to do it through various uh, routes. Efficiencies are important and how do you create efficiencies again um, it has to do with the kind of people you recruit, the processes you have um, and things like that. So even if you're going to spend a little more on that, eventually if your impact is going to be high within that same amount of money, then it's worth it. In your business, your end goal is profits. In um, an NGO or a non-profit, your end goal is the final impact you're going to have. Now I tell people in a business, you will have, um, you want to see that your profit margins are increased where you live in a capitalist world. But in, for an NGO, you have to see that your money that your donors give you is taken the longest way possible. I think when you involve uh, your own members, when you involve students, when you involve other CEOs, I think you get a variety of uh, views. And I think that is, um, that gives them also a lot of satisfaction and to the organization which is working with them. I think they get a lot of inputs uh, coming in from various different angles, from various different types of capabilities. And I think that has helped them uh, basically improve their performance and help them scale up. Getting the right people is important. It takes time. Even if you are working and generating income, at the same time you are also doing philosophy. So you require your vision and that vision, who can deliver the vision. So we require the right people to have the organization. You've got to carry your people with you and you're building a team. So building team, identifying team people, planning, execution, those are the DNAs and that's what a working foundation at scale needs to be.